Hello guys, welcome back to another episode in Android application development tutorial series. In this episode, here I am going to show you how to create a simple user interface using Android Studio Layout Editor. I already told you that in Android, the user interface is created using XML elements. So if you do not have prior experience in XML, don't worry, you can easily create a user interface using Android Studio Layout Editor. So first we can increase the font size in Android Studio. So go to open file, open settings, uh, open editor, expand editor, here colors and fonts, uh, select font, change the font size into 50. Uh, click up play, ok. So now we successfully change font size in Android Studio. Now go back to activity main.xml. So here is the, this area is the layout editor, uh, this is the project window. So now we are going to create a simple user interface, I will show you the interface. So now we are going to create a user interface similar to this one. So this is a simple user interface that contain an edit text and a button. So this is called an edit text in Android. So by using edit text, user can enter some message. And this is a simple button in Android. So now we are going to create a layout similar to this one. <coughs> so <coughs> if you do not have prior experience in XML, you can simply create the XML by simply drag and drop using the Android Studio Layout Editor. So this area is called uh, Android Studio Layout Editor. So for getting more space here, we can now uh, hide the project window. So simply click here. So now here we have enough space for the layout editor. So this is the palette window. The most commonly used widgets are available here. You can simply uh, select, drag and drop it here into this layout. So now here, from here, you can simply switch between design and text. So this is the XML attribute XML code segments corresponding to this layout. So at the from the bottom of this window, you can easily switch between design and text. Okay. So for this layout, we need to add two components. First one is an edit text and second one is a button. And these two components aligned horizontally. So now check the XML file. So for every Android layout, there will be a root element. So here the root element is a constrained layout. So this is the root element. Here the root element is a constrained layout. Here the root element start here. The root element end here. This is the ending of the root element. And in between the root element we have a text view. <coughs> so here uh, we simply display some message, hello world message. So that message is displayed using this text view. Okay. So if you're using a constrained layout, the position of the child layouts are controlled by certain constraints between the child views and to the parent layout itself. So if you, if you use a constrained layout, uh, you can simply avoid nesting of loop. That means you can improve the performance of the layout. So if you are a beginner in Android, uh, these things are a little bit strange but don't worry. You can, you can understand different types of layouts in Android in coming up episodes. In Android, there are different types of layouts are available such as uh, linear layout, relative layout, constrained layout, uh, frame layout, etc. So if you're using a constrained layout for creating a complex layout, you can simply avoid nesting of loop. If there is no nesting of loop, the runtime time of the layout will be reduced. That means the performance of your application will increase. So if you're using the latest version of Android Studio, when you create a new activity, Android Studio automatically add constraint layout as the root element. Okay, now we can create the layout. So this is our target layout. We have to add two view components, an edit text and a button. So the first thing, here I'm going to change the default margin of this layout. So here is the default margin. Here the current default margin is 8 dp. I change that one into 16 dp. Now select the design surface. 
change that one into blueprint here also you need to make sure that the show constraints is selected and here the auto connected is turned off now currently it is turned off okay so here is the component tree now here the root element is a constrained layout uh, that contain a text view so now uh, we don't need this text view so select that text view and delete it so now we can add a text view first sorry an edit text first so here the first element is an edit text then we need to add a button so for adding a text view sorry an edit text select the text and select plain text select that one and simply drop it here so you can zoom in here zoom out here so here we simply <coughs> add some view component to the layout it is an edit text uh, here is the guideline for this design so here a is the edit text and b is the button so the arrows indicate the constraints <coughs> that means uh, for the view component a that means for this edit text uh, that needs some margin on the left side uh, it needs some margin on the top side also for the view b here view b is the button <coughs> the button needs some margin on the left side also there is a constraint for the baseline text okay so now we can add the constraints so when you select a view component in the blueprint here on the corner there is a rectangular sections are available the rectangular sections are called resizing handlers so the rectangular sections are called resizing handlers and on each side there is a circular sections are available which are called constraint anchors so by using this constraint anchors you can create constraints between views and to the parent itself so in our case we need some margin on the left side that means we have to create a constraint on the left side also uh, we need a constraint at the top so now here i'm going to create a constraint on at the left side so click the click the circular area drag it and connect to the edge so here we create a constraint of 16 dp margin on the left side now we need to create a constraint at the top so select the circular position in the side select that one drag it and point it to the top so here for this view we create two constraints so if you're using a constraint layout for each child you have to specify at least two constraint so here we specify two constraint one constraint at the left side and another constraint at the top okay now we can add the button so select widgets select the button and drag it and drop it at the right side so here we add our second view component say button now we need to create constraint for the button so for the button we need to add a constraint from left side of button to the right side of the edit text so zoom in select the constraint on the left side of button select it drag it and connect to the right side of the edit text so here we create a constraint for the button at the right side now in order to align these two view components horizontally we have to create constraints between the baseline text so when you click the view component here there is a baseline text editor is available so when you click that one the baseline constraint appear at the inside of the view component so now here the uh, baseline constraint appear inside button so you have to select that one drag it uh, try one more time select the baseline editor and connect to the center of baseline of the edit text so now here we align these two view components horizontally okay now the layout is ready so now this is the blueprint now we can check the design 
so select the design surface and change that one into design so this is the layout so we have an edit text and a button so in our layout here we have a hint for the edit text so we have to change the message on the button so now we can change the message we can change the ui strings so in android you can place all the ui strings in a single place called strings.xml so open project window uh, open the values folder open strings.xml you can place all the ui strings within this file so by placing all the ui strings in a single location you can easily modify them also you can easily localize the string value that means if your application supports multiple languages you can uh, you can change you can apply different language uh, ui strings within this single file uh, you will don't worry you will uh, learn it in the coming up episodes so here we need to add some two string value one string value for the hint for the edit text and another one for label for the button so you can easily manage the string component by using an editor so here select this option open editor uh, here I am going to add a new string value so click the plus button specify key for the value I name it as edit message uh, now specify the default value uh, enter a message Now we need another string resource for the button. So add another string value. I name it as button label. <coughs> now change now specify the default to value. I specify that one into send message. Click OK. So here we add two string values. Now we need to connect these string values to the user interface. So go back to activity main.xml. Uh, we can hide the project window now now when you select a view component when you select a widget <coughs> in the layout at the right side there is an attribute window so you can change the XML attribute using this window so now I'm going to change the label on the edit text first so select the uh, view component uh, in the attribute editor we can modify the xml attributes so here is the text to value currently it is name i simply remove that one here uh, we have a hint option so here you can pick a new resource for that one so a new window appear select our string resource edit message and click ok so now here we set hint on the edit text now we can change the label on the button so select button so now these are the attributes for the button this is the button text add a new resource <coughs> it is button label and click ok now we apply the string resource on the ui okay now the layout is almost ready now we can test it so here I am going to open the virtual device Android virtual device manager. So now I am going to start some virtual device. Start a virtual device. Okay, now here the virtual device is ready. And now we can test our application. So click the run button. I'll select the virtual device. Okay, now the application available on our virtual device. So now the layout is looking fine. It is looking good. Okay, so now I will show you something. Now I am going to start another virtual device. So here this is a standard virtual device. This is a tab. Now I am going to start the tab virtual device.
So here we have two virtual devices. Uh, first one is a standard device and another one is a tab. So we already run our application on the standard device. Uh, it is looking fine. Now I am going to run the application in our tab. Now click the run button. Now here in this time I select the tab and click OK. And here it is. So in tab the layout is not looking good. But in this device, in this standard device, the layout is looking fine. So when you create a layout in Android, you have to make sure that your layout compatible with all screen sizes. So you must configure your layout to compatible with different screen densities. So the layout is looking fine on a standard screen, but it is not looking, it is not that much good uh, on a tab layout. So you need to configure this layout for support different screen densities for that again change this one into uh, blueprint so here we have it to we have two component an edit text and a button so select any one of this component hold the shift key select the other one now right click and select chain so the chain will configure the view components for different screen densities for example if you use a horizontal chain the android system will automatically stretch the view component based on screen densities if you use a vertical chain android system will stretch the component vertically if you use a horizontal chain android system will stretch the view component horizontally so now here i'm going to use a horizontal chain so here we apply some horizontal chain for these two view components. Now I'm going to apply some margin at the right side of the button. So I select the button. Now within the attribute window, here is the margin. So this is the right margin. I'm going to apply some margin at the right side. So here at the center, this arrow represents the width and the top arrows represents the height. So now the height is wrap content and width is also wrap content. Now I am going to change the width into match constraints. So you can double click this one. Now it is fixed size. Now it will represent fixed size. I need match constraint. Again double click. Now it will change into match constraint. Now we can test our application again. Now here I run, run the application on the top layout. Now it is looking good. No, it is not looking good. Here I made a mistake. Uh, I select the button first. Change this one into wrap content now. Also, we apply some margin at the right side of the button. Now I select the edit text. Now change width into match constraint. Now the width of the edit text into match constraint. That is better. Now run the application again. Now here you can see now the layout is looking fine on a big screen on a tab layout. Uh, now we can check it in our standard device also. So run it on a standard device. Yes, now our design is looking fine on a big layout and a normal layout. So this is how we create a simple user interface using Android Studio Layout Editor. I hope you understand all these concepts. For getting more Android tutorial updates, please subscribe this channel now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.